Hey guys, how you doing? Jeff Rick Tremonto here from Chicago. Uh, it's my honor to just kind of address you guys today. Uh, I tried to be there. Uh, my schedule just didn't work out. I have a restaurant in New Orleans and in Jackson, Mississippi and in Chicago and I had a conflict so I'm uh, gonna send you guys this instead and hopefully next year we'll be on the agenda to see you in person. I just wanted to drop you a note to encourage you that Somebody like me who has been able to write, write you know, eight, eight, nine cookbooks and multiple James Beard Awards and multiple restaurants, uh, have had a long career in the culinary field, 30 years this year, and started at Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburgers in 1977 and just kind of went on from there. But my dad went to prison when I was 15 and our whole world kind of fell apart and it was just me and my mom and she worked a full-time job and you know I was very very sad and very depressed for a long time and wasn't really sure where life was gonna bring me and went through lots of uh, struggles and drug abuse and alcohol abuse and you know God really let me out of uh, led me through a lot of that and um, really look back and always thought it was kinda of my fault that my life was such a disaster for so long but you know, I really didn't have anything to do with my circumstances. I was somebody in my circumstances. And I just encourage you today that if I can do it, <laughs> you can do it. I mean, I didn't learn how to read until I was almost 25 years old, if you can think about that, which was very, uh, very much a struggle for a long, long time. Um, but just love to cook and continue to stay in the kitchen and work the disciplines and the techniques of a kitchen and really understand the science and the uh, the uh, the palate to start to develop food and it's been an amazing journey in Chicago and Europe and New York and um, so I uh, I encourage you today that uh, whatever your circumstances wherever you are in your life whoever is um, either incarcerated like my dad was or uh, in substance abuse like I was that there is a way out and you and you can do it. Um, it, it certainly is a uh, a blessing in my life to be able to to speak this to you and um, be alive still today to speak this to you. You just have to know that it, uh, it's how bad you want it and uh, to turn uh, your circumstances around. Um, through hard work and focus and prayer and um, you know your journey and my journey was very long and started over many times uh, and many people gave me second and third chances in my life and uh, I got to just keep moving forward and moving forward but I think if you can make it be about the food and make it be about you Make it be not about others around you that are distracting you, that are um, going through hard times. I think you need to support them the best that you can and love on them and pray for them. But I think at the end of the day, um, you know, there's a great story that when uh, you're in a plane and the plane's going down uh, and the oxygen masks drop, do you put it on yourself first or do you put it on the person next to you first? to you want to save somebody. Well, I think the, the, the great answer to that always is, is you have to save yourself first. So you put it on yourself so then you can save others. And I, I, I believe in that story highly because I think that I've been able to help a lot of people because I recognized that I needed to um, take care of me and make sure that I was focused in um, being able to be a survivor of um, of not only inner city crime and parents or dad that being incarcerated for seven years in Auburn State, but um, just a lot of negative distractions around me. So I hope to see you guys next year. Um, I hear the conference is awesome. I uh, can't wait to see the school. I can't wait to eat some food and see how you guys are doing. And uh, God bless. Thank you.